you can make way more money trading indices than you can Forex. I wouldn't suggest you trade indices until you've already done the work and the practice and the repetitions on Forex. Not only can you make more money on indices, you can also save a lot of money by only trading indices. Let me explain why. So this is my super easy breakdown. Um, one lot on a Forex pair is 100,000 units. If the price of that asset is 0.66278 and you buy one lot of it, meaning 100,000 units, it's going to cost you $66,278. If the price of that goes up to pips, it's now valued at $66,298, giving you a whopping $20 in profit or $10 per pip if you trade one lot. Now, if you trade one lot on a Forex pair, depending on your broker, it's anywhere from three to $7 commission per lot traded. Now, I wanna show you an example of a trade on Australian dollar, US dollar, risking 1% of your account balance with a risk to reward ratio of one to two, meaning that my take profit is 2%. So what you wanna do is find out whether you wanna buy or sell. I'm gonna get in on a short position right here, drag my stop loss, and I think that should be good, and then just click send my order. When it does that, it will show me the current price I entered at, my stop loss and my take profit, and how much commission it's taking. You can also see right here, the lot sizes. The lot size of this trade risking 1% is 35. So we can deduce from this that the commission of $250 means that on this broker, one lot traded is $7. So if we do the exact same thing and use the risk calculator on an indice with a one to two risk to reward ratio, and we drag that stop loss on the sell order right there, and then just click send order, you'll see risking the exact same, 1% of your capital to get 2% profit if the trade goes in your direction. You can see that the lot sizes right here is 1.9. So that means your commissions is $8. So trading the exact same way, but because indices are structured differently with their contract sizes, you saved literally $240 on this trade just by trading indices. Now, this isn't always the case because sometimes, depending on the broker, you could have a contract size of one. And you can see that right here when you right-click the asset and check the specifications. You can see that the contract size here is 100. Sometimes the contract sizes that they're going to offer you is one, meaning that they want to screw you over on commissions. So if you're looking for a broker, try to stick with brokers that have a contract size of 100 on indices. You're going to make way more money and you're going to be able to save a ton of money on your position sizes because they're going to be a lot smaller than you would if you were trading Forex. I hope this quick little tutorial helped you out and I hope that my math wasn't too confusing for you. Now, if you guys want to use this risk calculator because it's a lot easier than calculating the uh, position sizes yourselves, it's part of the membership of the trading floor, link down below. Membership costs 20 GBP per month, but that risk calculator is basically a free gift for you. You can keep it for life. Now, if you guys want to see how I was able to get $20,000 on a $200,000 account, check out this video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like on your way out and we will see you in the next one.